Good morning, I'm Lieutenant Yuan Lee of HMS Yara. Let's take you on board. Hi, I'm Andre Vink and uh, welcome to the machinery control room. Uh, so from in here, uh, we can control and monitor the main engine or the propulsion plant. Um, it's kind of, a ship is like a small city, so we make our fresh water, uh, keep power on to the ship and air conditioning uh, and all the operation of the ship. So from here, we can control and monitor all of that. Uh, we bring power from our diesel generators in through these switchboards uh, and we can start off our 440 volts uh, through the ship uh, to make the things happen. Uh, so come on down to the main engine room and I'll show you around the main engine room. Uh, welcome to the main engine room, I'll show you the main engine. So here's our main engine, uh, so this is what's propelling the ship through the water. Uh, we'll cruise on the main engine, uh, then we have a secondary auxiliary propulsion system on board the mine hunters. So we can see the shaft line comes down through here and then exits out the ship. All the equipment that's surrounding the main engine is all to support the main engine or the ship itself. Uh, we've got fueling transfer pumps, air compressors, uh, lube oil purifiers uh, and everything else that supports it. The core part of the marine technician world is first learning the main engine and the supporting equipment and servicing and keeping it all going. Uh, so my favourite part on HMAS Yarra is supervising my crew in maintaining the propulsion gear uh, and keeping all the systems running for the Navy. Let's go! Come in. I'm Pat. I'm a clearance diver here on HMAS Yarra. This is one of my compartments that I look after. Uh, in here, we do all our maintenance. Uh, we look after scuba, uh, our stealth sets, uh, all our wetsuits, all our wet gear goes in here. And then we've got all our maintenance tools and extra cylinders that go here. Uh, as you can see around, it's pretty tight. Uh, it's pretty comfy, uh, but we make the best of what we can do. Follow me out the back. Today, we're gonna to be uh, looking at our ROB, which is a remote actuated lift bag. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to conduct some maintenance, make sure it works when we need it to work. Yep, so this is the remote actuated underwater lift bag. What it does, it lifts items from the seabed to the surface so they can be further investigated. All right, from here, let's go and check out the rest of the crew. Hi, my name's Chloe and I'm a communication information system sailor. Come check out some of the comms equipment. So we use flags to send signals to other ships to tell them what we're doing. We like to use these when divers are down below so everyone knows not to come near. Come check out the 10-inch light. These are our lights that we use to send Morse code to other ships to send them signals instead of using flags. My favourite part about being a communicator is the more technical side, which I can't really show you because it's out of bounds, but I like these basic ones as well. Come on to the bridge. Hi, hey, I'm Lieutenant Ewan Lee. I'm the Ops Watch on HMS Sierra. Welcome to the bridge. This is our helmsman's chair. Uh, the helmsman is responsible for keeping the ship's head uh, and the engine configuration. Ops Watch will stand behind the Polaris in the primary conning position, maintaining navigational safety. Over here we have the captain's chair. Uh, at the absence of the captain uh, on the bridge, the officer of the watch is responsible for the navigational safety and mission imperative objectives. Uh, now I'll take you down to the ops room. Hi, welcome. My name's David. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Hewing Class Mine Hunters Operations Room. Come in and I'll give you a guided tour. So this is where we track all our uh, surface targets. We can also track any air targets. We do track as well when we are closed up to mine hunting stations. This is our primary uh, MO console, so our Mine Warfare Officer's console. Uh, this is where he collates all the data that we've received through our MHD consoles. And this is where the decisions are made based on what we should do inside our minefield. Our class console is our high resolution, high frequency sonar console. Um, once we detect our, our picture or our contact in the water, 
Um, and this is where we'll collate all that data so we can get a better understanding to what that contact is underneath the water. Our next console is our MHD ROV console. This console is primarily used uh, once we're in location and we have done a launch of our ROV, we will drive our vehicle out and we will transfer control to the MHD console where our mine hunting director will take charge. Our next console is our MHD console. They work in consultation with the MO. Their whole job is to collate all the information that comes through for all contacts based in the area. Our last console is our search console. Our search console is our main console that we use to get an idea of where we're looking and uh, the area of water that we're trying to identify contacts in. Now come with me and I'll show you the mine disposal vehicle on HMAS Cow. So this is our mine disposal vehicle. Uh, we deploy this vehicle when we confirm a contact. Uh, it has sonar and imagery capabilities. Once we identify the contact, we can neutralize it with this vehicle. Now I'll pass you over to someone else. So in addition to our two mine disposable vessels, we've got two fifth caliber machine guns on either side and our 30 mil main gun just behind me here. That's it from me today. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Lee from HMS Yarra. Hunt and strike.